My name's Mark Dixon, and I'm a, the forum director at the Architecture Forum. I'm here today to talk to you about the Open Group new release of the TOGAF Standard 10th Edition. Well, there's uh, three things to remember about the uh, TOGAF Standard 10th Edition. Um, it's modular. We've expanded the scope and the content that's provided, uh, and part of that expansion represents uh, the, the delivery of context and domain-specific information. The TOGAF Standard is now made up of two fundamental building blocks. There's the fundamental content, and really, if you're familiar with the TOGAF Standard 9.2, you'll recognize uh, the fundamental content as what we used to call the TOGAP standard uh, for up to 9.2. In addition, we've now included with this release 20 uh, TOGAP series guides as a formal part of the standard. But what difference does that make? Well, that's significant in the material that is included in the standard goes through a much more rigorous process of peer review and approval. Uh, by the Open Group membership. Not just the members of the Architecture Forum who are involved in writing it, but the whole Open Group at large. The important thing about this release, I guess, for people to take away is that um, it's much expanded in terms of breadth and in depth. The way that we cope with complexity just in life is to compartmentalize and modularize things. And that's what we've done with materials. So people can now take what they need and that material will uh, be useful on a standalone basis. If you want to take one chunk of the TOGAF standard and apply that in your world, you can do that. The other thing about, uh, about introducing the, the new version of the standard is we've dived into detail in domain topics that we've not really done before as part of the standard. So we've got content relating to agile enterprise architecture or digital transformation of the digital enterprise. We've got a lot of content on business architecture. And that's driving into more detail than the standard has traditionally done. There's always been supporting material around, but it's not been included as part of the standard. And this is really addressing, I think, a demand um, that was made apparent to us a few years ago when we started looking at what to put in the new version. So the TOGAF Standard 10th Edition is being presented in, in broadly in two chunks. So if you pick up the Enabling Enterprise Agility Series Guide, what you'll get is something which helps you adapt the TOGAF standard to an Agile Enterprise context. That's really important. A lot of people ask the question, is Agile, it, is the TOGAF standard Agile? And the answer is yes and no. It really depends on how you decide to use it. That's one example uh, of a series guide that's been published with the 10th edition. Uh, there are 19 more. Uh, and they all represent accelerators in one way or another that show you how to adapt the TOGAF standard to a given context. The most important thing about how the TOGAF standard is, uh, is created is the fact that it's a member-driven activity. So we work with uh, real enterprise architects from organizations around the world. The fact that we're able to create the TOGAF standard through the collaboration of so many practiced architects means several things. One. What we're getting is real world uh, opinion and real world input into how to do enterprise architecture. And the, the other thing that we get is we get a consensus. So what we do is like ironing out the kinks, I guess. We, what we get is a broad consensus view of good ways of doing things. There are outlying opinions, and a lot of that might appear as a white paper. You get, you get an opinion piece come out of a white paper or something like that. But what you get in the standard is a solid consensus-based view of what represents a good way of doing enterprise architecture. Contributing to the creation of the TOGAF standard is really easy. All you need to do is be a member of the Open Group Architecture Forum and show up to a meeting. We'll take care of everything else. Thank you.